Hermann Goering wasted no time and ordered his Luftwaffe to attack the Allies trapped in the Dunkirk pocket. The German infantry and artillery maintained pressure on the ground. On May 26, 1940, the day after the British forces asked for help, the man in charge of the British naval base at Dover, Admiral Bertram Ramsey, began evacuating the British expeditionary force from Dunkirk. The mission was codenamed Operation Dynamo, but expectations were that it would probably rescue no more than a small proportion of the trapped troops. On May 27th, Belgium's King Leopold surrendered to Germany to prevent any more suffering in his country. This increased the pressure on the beleaguered British at Dunkirk and on Operation Dynamo. As the Luftwaffe began attacking rescue ships crossing the channel, Goering told Hitler, only fishing boats are coming across. I hope the Tommies can swim well. The Luftwaffe sank a number of ships. The Dunkirk pocket was closing. But despite pressure from the Germans, over 26,000 British troops were evacuated by May 29th. And during the next 24 hours, more than 47,000 were rescued. 54,000 more were evacuated on the 30th. Did the Allied forces in the north. He now turned his attention to conquering the remainder of France and was planning a new thrust south across the rivers Somme and Aisne. Yet the evacuation of Dunkirk continued. Now paddle steamers and pleasure boats were being pressed into service. These became known as the Little Ships of Dunkirk. They played an important role in the rescue mission. Not just British, but now French and Belgian troops were being evacuated from the beaches. On May 31st, 56,000 troops were rescued and another 65,000 on the following day. <laughs> 